In this video, we'll walk you through Apollo's key features and put its lead generation capabilities to the test. So, what is Apollo? Apollo is a B2B sales intelligence and engagement platform. It provides you with contact information of individuals working at companies that match your desired criteria. For example, you can search for owners of roofing contractor companies with 110 employees who are located in Toronto. Then, you can contact them. Let's take a look at their features in greater detail. Here, you can search for leads via people or companies. You can engage with leads by creating elaborate sequences or just sending emails and calling them. It also includes productivity enhancing features, such as the ability to create tasks, snippets or scheduling meetings. You can create reusable templates, get insights into your outreach's efficacy with analytics and configure multiple mailboxes for sending emails. You can also record your video calls to gain actionable insights and enrich your data. They even have a new feature called Plays that automates most of Apollo's features. But while outreach tools are a dime a dozen, what Apollo is really known for is its lead generation capabilities. So let's focus on that. We'll search for roofing contractors in Toronto and see how many leads it captures. As you can see, Apollo was only able to find four leads and one of the results is not even related to roofing contractors. It's the same if you check the Companies tab. Searching for the same on Google Maps shows tons of results. Meanwhile, LeadSwift was able to gather 4,011 unique businesses and at least one email address for 1,589 of those businesses. Let's try another query for remodelers in Apollo. This query only yielded one result. Searching on Google Maps again yields tons of results. And LeadSwift? It yielded 443 unique businesses and at least one email address for 299 of those businesses. So what's going on here? How is Google Maps and LeadSwift showing so many results while Apollo shows practically nothing? The issue is in how lead generation databases gather their data. The key point here is databases. In short, lead generation databases may gather contacts from interactions by their pool of users. Mainly, those who installed the platform's browser extensions or gave access to their contact lists. Or by simply capturing the names of individuals working at organisations and then testing for email matches. However, this approach is fundamentally flawed since most people who are using such platforms, or even LinkedIn for that matter, are other enterprise users, not decision makers at small businesses. This is why platforms that use databases may produce little to no results for regular businesses, which are the backbone of our economies. The sources that these databases tap into to gather data are focused on enterprise users. Such databases usually only have the contact information of individuals, but we all know how fickle those can be. People change roles, run out of space, or worse, simply don't check their emails. On the other hand, business emails are more stable, usually landing in the decision maker's inbox, especially in small businesses that don't have dedicated personnel to deal with inbound queries. The neighborhood mom and pop restaurant certainly doesn't have dedicated employees handling incoming emails. It's the owners themselves who are usually attending to the business's emails at night. As such, LeadSwift captures both generic email addresses and those of individuals working at the organization. It's literally the best of both worlds. LeadSwift starts by searching for all the businesses matching your desired keyword across all the major local business sources, such as Google Maps. Then, it finds the contacts and email addresses for those businesses. This way, LeadSwift ensures that there are no businesses that are missed. A single missed business could be a potential sale worth hundreds, thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. If you want to filter for specific individuals, you can do that too. For example, you can filter by job titles in LeadSwift like job title, owner, founder, president, CEO, executive. Now it will only show leads that have these keywords in their job titles. Let's take a look. As you can see, this is indeed the case. However, with small businesses, since the decision maker is usually the one handling the email address, we don't recommend focusing the outreach on individuals. 
Instead, reaching out to generic email addresses can expand deliverability and improve reach. On top of that, LeadSwift lets you know all the issues that a business is dealing with. Low ratings, SEO issues, missing social profiles, and so much more. And since all the leads are captured fresh at the time of search, you can capture real-time data based on your exact needs. Let's say you want to specifically target kitchen and bathroom remodeling businesses. With LeadSwift, you can search for Remodeler and then check for specific keywords that are mentioned on their website, such as kitchen, washroom and bathroom. You can even search for custom HTML within websites to identify those using certain technologies or even certain text, such as powered by XYZ competitor. Try that with a database provider of leads. So, what is LeadSwift? LeadSwift is the most powerful local B2B lead generation platform. Beyond capturing basic information about businesses worldwide, it also captures information such as websites, social profiles, reviews, email addresses, and even people working there. With it, you can build your agency website instantly, find local businesses that are in desperate need of your services, and contact them with personalized outreach. All with a few clicks of a button. Let's start. I'll assume you don't have a website. So why don't we just get Lead Swift to build you one? I'll call my agency, Agency Swift. And just like that, your website is ready. Let's take a look. As you can see, Lead Swift built us a fully functional, beautiful website in seconds. The website is entirely customizable to your needs. It includes all the bells and whistles, such as an SSL certificate, working forms, fast page load speeds, SEO best practices, and it's fully responsive. The copy is generic enough to sell literally any service, whether it's website development, reputation management, social media services, advertising, content creation, or even SEO. Lead Swift gives you a visual editor to fully customize the website. There's no coding skills needed. Now that we have our website, we can find hungry leads that desperately need these services. Let's create our first campaign. In this campaign, I'll be searching for HVAC businesses. We can use one of the many drop-down suggestions or enter a custom keyword. Then I enter the location where I'd like to find the businesses. Next, I can search for text or HTML in the business's websites, such as powered by XYZ competitor. In my case, this won't be necessary. This is confirming that I want to search for a custom keyword, which I do. That's it. Lead Swift will now scan all the local business sources such as Google Maps, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Bing and Facebook. It will analyze every business's online presence and tell you everything you need to sell products or services to them. Lastly, it will fetch their contact information, including those of specific people working there. All of this data is captured fresh at the time of search. Within a few minutes, we can see Lead Swift captured 1,977 leads. Let's take a look at the results. Lead Swift has an enormous amount of data points. You can pause the video now if you'd like to review the full list. We are constantly adding more data. For now, I'll keep the default list. After removing duplicates, there are still 1,601 businesses and 1,076 businesses with at least one email address. You can see all the data points populated for the business. Some local business sources might provide businesses that are relevant to the keyword, but not necessarily to you. In our case, we might be looking for contractors, but we can see that there's results from hardware stores as well. We can identify the category keywords that our ideal leads have and filter by it. You can filter leads by using the text field. For example, the category filter. You can specify multiple keywords by comma delimiting them. You can use filters in Lead Swift to identify the exact businesses that need your products or services. For example, those that don't have a website to sell them website development, those with SEO problems, those that are missing a particular social profile to sell social management services, those with no ads running, 
or ratings or rankings. You can filter businesses with a Google rating of four or below to sell them reputation management services. You can sell SEO services to businesses that don't appear in the top three results of the searched keyword. The possibilities are truly endless. You can quickly filter by company size to focus your outreach to small businesses, like those with 50 employees or fewer. You can filter by organization type as well. You can optionally exclude null values. If you exclude null values and are filtering by ratings, for example, only those that have a rating would be shown. Since businesses without ratings would be equally interested in reputation management services, it makes sense to leave this option unchecked. You can view the contacts for any business, and you can click on individuals to see more details about them, such as their job title, personal email addresses, and even LinkedIn profiles. For example, this person is a sales coordinator. We can also filter by job titles. Since I want to combine this with the category filter, I will put a semicolon, then job title, and the desired positions. Now, we're only going to have HVAC contractor leads where the contacts are presidents, owners, or managers. We can see here that the lead is indeed a manager. Since for small businesses, the general inboxes will be managed by the decision maker anyway, I will remove the job title filter to expand reach and deliverability. Now, let's contact them. You can use this form to send a quick email, but I want to send a more advanced sequence with follow-up messages. To do that, we navigate to the Sequences section. Let's set a title and description to remember the sequence. We can use ChatGPT to write the initial outreach and follow-up messages for us. Here is the prompt that I used. We can simply copy-paste the emails into LeadSwift to send. Note that LeadSwift supports personalizing your outreach with dynamic tokens. Here, these dynamic tokens would be replaced with the actual business name and Google rating. You can see a list of tokens that can be used here. For first name there, if we have a first name, we will use it. If we don't, it will fall back to whatever you put after the vertical bar delimiter, such as there. For example, the email would be Hi Tom, if the recipient's name is Tom. However, if we don't have a first name, it will just say Hi there. Now, let's send another email after two days. There's several triggers based on which the email can be sent. In my case, I'll just send it after two days if they don't open the initial email. Now let's copy and paste the second email. And that looks pretty good. Let's save it. Perfect. Now we can go back to our leads report and send the sequence. Just like that, 302 leads that desperately need reputation management services were contacted. You can also make notes in LeadSwift and change the status to track the progress of each lead in your sales cycle. LeadSwift also provides you with automatically generated audit reports to include in your outreach. As with everything else, these audit reports are fully customizable to use your own domain and logo. It will give the business a snapshot of their Google listings, website deficiencies, advertising snapshots, social presence, reviews, rankings, etc. As if you put it together. This way, they will feel you actually took the time to analyze their business rather than sending a cookie cutter email. You can view the status of your sent emails here and specify your email settings here. Any replies will go directly to your own inbox. Once you start getting sales, simply outsource the work to whoever is the best on platforms like Fiverr. Congratulations! In just minutes, you built an agency website, found businesses that desperately need your services, and contacted them. Now, just sit back and watch the sales roll in.
Don't miss out on this opportunity to streamline your efforts and achieve your business goals. Get started with LeadSwift today.